parents and families. I just want to start off by saying you'll get a chance after the play to take it. We'll take a group picture together and then you'll have an opportunity to take a picture with your kindergartner individually with their costumes on. We work really hard and I hope you enjoy the production of The Little Red Hen. She shared her food with them, but they never helped her. They just watched her work. Fish from Neil the cat. He stole corn from Bob the pig. He stole clover, which he didn't even like, from Dot the cow. She did not have enough money to buy flour. But one lucky day, she found some grains of wheat. She said, if I plant these grains, I will have a lot of flour for making bread. She asked the cow, the cat, and the pig to help her plant the grain. Too fat. I just feel too fat. 
Not eyes of the pig. Job's too big, said Father Pig. Job is just too big. But that didn't stop the little red hen. She held her head high, flapped her wings, and said, Then I will do it by myself. scratched and scratched the soil. The chicks helped. Then she planted the grains of wheat. All the while, steel-eyed fox watched from afar.
pecked and slapped the little red hen. She held her head high and flapped her wings. And I will do it by myself, she said. bundles of wheat to the mill. Her chicks followed. All the while, steel like fox watched from afar. she said. Lowered their heads and walked away. 
The hen and her chick sat at the table and ate the delicious bread. Steel-eyed fox saw the delicious bread, his mouth watered. He said, I have watched this hen plant, cut, carry, and bake. Now it's time for me to steal. Here's my plan. I will sneak into the house in this white bag. They will think I'm a sack of flour. Then I will snatch the bread and run. Aha! Now everyone, be quiet. The fox sneaked into the house and crawled to the table. The chicks knew the moving sack was trouble. They ran to the sack and peck, peck, pecked it with their sharp little beaks. Ouch, 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 screamed the fox. He jumped out of the sack, ran out the door, ran home and cried. His whole body hurt, and he felt miserable.
My name is Madison and I was the pig. My name is Jelly and I was the pig. <laughs>
pictures throughout the year, and I want to give a special thank you to Mrs. Twig in the back, Mrs. Twig Wave. She did an awesome job. She's our fair, she's one of our fair professionals in kindergarten. We have Mrs. Twig and Mrs. Johnson, and they work with all three classrooms, and they are just instrumental, helping with small groups academically, and she also did a great job putting this all together. So, um, special thank you to Mrs. Twig. Um, each kiddo will get a memory book along with an orange packet to keep your kindergarten knowledge afloat. So it has a variety, it's kind of like the homework calendars, it has a variety of different things to work on with your kiddos. So it kind of has the daily activities along with kind of like the farm packet where there's some other um, workbook type things and just keep ideas to keep your kindergartner's brain, first grader's brain growing over the summer. And also in your folder yesterday you received some information from Mrs. Johnson about summer reading as well, so keep an eye on that. So, um, with that, we're gonna I'll call up each a kiddo, and instead of doing instead of clapping, we'll do some of our kindergarten cheer. So for the first few, we'll say I'll say hip hip, and then kindergartners what about and say hooray! Hey! Parents, if you can join in with that too, instead of clapping, it's kind of a fun way to celebrate them. All right, Leah Bell, come on over. Let's give Leah Bell a hip hip. All right, Thomas, let's give him a hip hip. <laughs> Congratulations, Thomas. All right, Wyatt, let's give him a hip hip. Congratulations. All right, let's give Avery a hip hip. Let's give Olivia a hip hip. <laughs> Let's give Messiah a hip hip. <laughs> All right. Let's give Lanaya a hip hip. <laughs>